What goes wrong during filming a YouTube video? Well, you guys have no idea of it, so let's talk about it. There are five very important things that could go wrong during the filming of a YouTube video. The number one thing would be the weather. Now, if you're a YouTuber like me who records in public, then you should know the struggle of it being an extremely windy day or a rainy day. Any chance of there being rain means that you cannot take the risk of recording the video. Now, depending on who you are and what you're using for your camera, so I have a cameraman and his camera is expensive to say the least. I will never let him take his camera out when it's raining purely because if that thing gets damaged even a bit, he is done for. The career ended before it even started. And if it's too windy, then it's gonna interfere with you speaking into the mic. The second thing would be having a full SD card. Now, if you're a YouTuber who uses a proper camera for filming, then you need an external SD card that stores in the footage that you record. It's the worst when you're trying to record, but then you forget to wipe the old footage from the last video. And now it's mixed in with the new footage and you can't even record the rest because it's maxed out and you don't know which ones to delete. I mean, I guess it's the same thing when you're using a phone, except with a phone, it's easier to just delete things and stuff. When it's maxed out, it's the worst, whether you're using a phone or a camera. If you're recording something good and it stops recording because your storage is full, that's like the end. That has happened to me a couple times. I've hated that so much. The next thing on the list is bad crowd. When you're trying to record in public and you try to talk to someone, they just walk away after seeing the camera. Like they just threatened by it. And I'm just like, yo, I'm not gonna kill you. Chill out. And free one minute caricatures. Would you like yours? Literally every time I try recording, this happens and it's the most annoying thing. People just walk away when they see a camera and they start acting antisocial. Like I know you're not antisocial, Ben. I know you're at the pub with the lads. Also people who give out really dry responses during recording, like I'm interviewing someone and they're just giving one word answers. Like, don't get me wrong, I appreciate the fact that they're still taking part, but it's like, if they're not being entertaining, then it's like a bit difficult to make that cut in the video. It's like, it's just gonna make me walk away from you. The next thing that goes wrong during recording is having low battery. It's the worst thing when you have low battery on your camera, cause I used to record on my iPhone. I'm recording on my iPhone right now, but even before like a year ago I, I used to record everything on my iphone and all i had was that one phone so i would text with my iphone navigate all my business was done on my phone especially when i didn't have a power bank so it was a bit difficult to navigate that which is why now i have two power banks in my bag <laughs> the last struggle i want to talk about is having no energy as a human being now don't get me wrong i love recording I love doing YouTube, but some days it's just I have no energy to go on and edit for an extra hour and like I'm so low on energy that I might pass off. Those days are very, they're like the worst of the worst days. Like in the morning, you have to be at a specific location by 11 a.m. You show up, but it's like you're half dead. How are you going to record and look alive if you're half dead in the morning? And that's where you get caffeine addiction from, but that's not the point. That's besides the point. Being a YouTuber is like the most fun someone can have. It's just, you just have to do a lot of pushing yourself. Mentally as well, it's like a creative game. You'll get through it as long as you are trying your hardest. I know I did something different with this video. I don't even know what I'm doing, but um, yeah. All right, bye. Okay, so here are the two power banks that I was talking about. I always have both completely charged on me all the time.